This video is based on the recent astrobiology publication and high-energy physics archive paper by Dr. Keith Johnson of MIT. On this channel, we have proposed that supernovae produce amorphous ice-coated cosmic dust that with the help of incident cosmic radiation, ejects water nanocluster ions, filling interstellar space as a quintessent scalar field of Rydberg dark matter. The indicated anisotropic dipole moments along the nanocluster axis are precursors to water nanocluster birefringence, analogous to the terahertz-induced birefringence of liquid water. This is because a liquid water film is composed of a network of water nanoclusters, which are birefringent under terahertz-induced stimulation. Observational evidence for biofingents of the cosmic microwave background has recently been reported. The suggestion that the cosmic microwave background polarization may be due to cosmic dust emission polarization is actually support for our claim that cosmic biofringence is real and indicative of quintessence new physics. This is due to the anisotropic dipole moments of water nanoclusters ejected from cosmic dust as they capture vacuum energy by the dynamical Casimir effect and vibrate at terahertz frequencies. Unfortunately, quantum field theory predicts a dark energy density associated with quantum fluctuations of the vacuum that is too large by 120 orders of magnitude. This is called the vacuum catastrophe. To solve this problem, we first view the vacuum electromagnetic field as a collection of quantized harmonic oscillators of normal mode frequencies, nu sub k, summing over the zero-point energies of each oscillator mode. H is Planck's constant, and C is the velocity of light in a vacuum. This leads to the energy density equation shown here. The wave vector, K, signifies the normal modes of the electromagnetic field that are consistent with the boundary conditions on the quantization volume, V. As V approaches infinity, one obtains the right-hand side of the equation. We can remove the infinity by replacing the upper limit of the integral by a cutoff frequency set by the Planck scale, but this still results in a huge vacuum energy by 120 orders of magnitude. If instead, we subtract the energy density, rho sub c, of virtual photons of zero-point vacuum fluctuations captured by ejected water nanoclusters, through the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the divergent integral is largely cancelled. Nu sub c is the cutoff vibrational frequency of the ejected water nanoclusters. This leaves the finite quantity shown to be identified with the dark energy density. For the prominent pentagonal dodecahedral water nanocluster, the cutoff vibrational frequency is approximately 1.7 terahertz. This formula produces the correct, small dark energy density and consequently, the small cosmological constant. To summarize visually, cosmic water nanoclusters can absorb vibrationally, by the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the unwanted high-frequency virtual photons of zero-point energy vacuum fluctuations. Only vacuum fluctuations below the water nanocluster cutoff vibrational frequency are gravitationally active. The net pressure of the system is negative, consistent with dark energy. In the present theory, we have proposed that supernovae produce ice-coated cosmic dust that ejects water nanoclusters, filling space as a quintessent scalar field of dark matter. Like the fifth element of Plato and Aristotle, the indicated anisotropic dipole moments along the nanocluster axis are precursors to water nanocluster birefringence, analogous to the terahertz-induced birefringence of liquid water. Observational evidence for biofingence of the cosmic microwave background has recently been reported. As our universe continues to expand, water nanoclusters ejected from cosmic dust will grow larger, and their vibrational frequencies will decrease. Large water clusters are less interacting with the prebiotic molecules of life. 
with decreasing vibration frequency, dark energy density also decreases. The universe will stop expanding and contract as the gravity of the remaining matter takes over. The universe will expand again, leading to a single cyclic universe instead of an inflationary multiverse. According to this scenario, we are presently living at the ideal time in our universe for life, as we know it, to exist. And water nanoclusters, ejected from cosmic dust, could be the seeds of life throughout the universe.